the prepositions. He could disarm you with his looks or his hands. Either way, he can speak French in Russian. He is John Riggins. Stay thirsty, my friends. What did you expect, oh, Leanne? I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. The most interesting man. Yeah. There's a few new wrinkles on that. Anyway, we welcome yeah. you. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, Leanne Tweeden, NBC TV personality of, what is it, the National Heads Up Poker, poker Championship. Championship and then Poker After Dark. Yes, sir. Got two TV shows yeah. going on. She joined us this afternoon. The Very Poker After to have Dark. Her. Yeah. How, what's that, what's that uh, shooting schedule like? Do you, you don't do that? No, we shoot every, it every October, and uh, we shoot pretty much all of our season in about two weeks. Are you serious? It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like nice. what I was telling you about Pat Sajak when he, come, he yeah, goes out to do Yeah, but this thing airs Wheel six nights a week. How right. many shows is that? Well, one show is broken up into six airings, um, hour-long shows. So or one show, one sitting. So we do a table of six players, right. and they play until there's one winner. And so basically... Throughout the week, we, we do all of our intros and outros during their game, and then they break it up into six shows. And the final show, though, it's like five days a week, and by the fifth day on Friday, you know who wins. Saturday is our director's cut, which all the players are talking about how they played that week, different hands that they were, you know, they kind of tell you what they were Where thinking. Where they made those mistakes hands. and exactly. or made a Exactly, that's the move. fascinating part about our show. They sort of go, God, I really didn't put them on that, and I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have, um, I'd known it, you know, and, and then we do outtakes, and it's it's kind of an interesting, the, the Saturday Night Show is a fun one. It's on after play? Saturday Night Live. You know, I don't like to gamble, funny enough, but I do love to play charity poker because it's not my money. I mean, when I see pots that those guys are playing live cash games and there's $600,000 in one hand in a pot, that gets your attention. <laughs> like, my hands get sweaty and my heartbeat gets... I mean, I start getting an ulcer. <laughs> like, watching these guys in one hand. 600... Really? It just kind of... I can't do it. I could never... I could never... I, I, don't, I don't have the... Well, I'm a terrible to poker player that. to begin with. So you I, don't have a good poker face? No, it, it's just that I'm I'm a terrible player. And I, I just... You know, if I go to Vegas, I just go to the nearest crab table. I give them a couple hundred bucks and say, it saves me a lot of time. Get, <laughs> I know I'm going to give it to them eventually. Right, right. Why do I want to spend five the, hours there? Pay the water bill. It's about Thank the you. time. It's about the time. You're right. So I figured I'll just go do something else and <laughs> just get get squared up with them. Uh, well, you know what? There was... You know, you went to the Bon Jovi concert last night, yes. which is over with about 1030. Yes. And then you ended up at home where you had taped the Oscars. Right. And you ended up watching the Oscars till 3.30 this morning. Yes. By the way, did they end at midnight last night? Or? You know, actually, I... <laughs> what time was it over with? Because Do you know that on TiVo, it went right to where they were getting Get ready out. to announce, and I had to go look it up online to see who uh, won Best Picture. It went to 43, I was so 45, mad. Because I did. checked my watch going. They ran they over. Trying they trying to get out by 11.30, and they missed it by about 13, 14 minutes. I was so mad, so I had to look it up. But I was so happy because I wanted King's Speech to win, so I was very happy. So, so you've seen it. You've oh, seen I King's Speech. It. I love it. How many Have of the movies it? did you see? Uh, do you know, it's were, funny. Of course, I, there was 10 of them, but basically some of the, you know, like uh, Black Swan. I saw Black King Swan, Speech. didn't like it. Saw The Fighter, one of my favorites. King Speech, one of my favorites. I have Social Network. We were supposed to have, you know, movie night with some of our friends to watch it. So I held off on watching it, and then I you never had, got around to watching around it. To it. Um, and I heard it's good. You and know, then what was the other one? The Inception? Did you Trigret. see Inception? I loved Inception. Very, very difficult movie to follow and smart, but you have to sort of stay with it. You know, it's I'm one out. of those. Yeah. It changes at every turn. I loved Inception. I mean, it that's really right, makes right. you think. You said and smart. Yes. I, I, and I, I watched it, and I had a hangover. So, that <laughs> so you didn't like it, did you? <laughs> Not really. Um, and so, it was painful to have to think that hard. It was like, uh -uh, this ain't happening. <laughs> Not your type of movie. Get me another beer, Hannah. <laughs> this ain't going my way. But um, you know, I think the the right people probably want. You know, I was I'm I wasn't too thrilled with Natalie Portman winning, but she had won every other award coming up to it. I thought it was okay. Oh, she's won best. She's best won best supporting actress. No, she won best, best actress. actress. No, last night, but you said she'd won every other award well, leading up to like Golden Globes, yeah, leading up to awards, uh, Golden Globes, gotcha. you know. Um, but you know, but Colin Firth, oh, very happy that he won best actor. Um, and, and like I said, King's Speech for, for It was winning. pretty much a foregone conclusion. Did you see I think The that, Fighter, though? No, I haven't oh, seen it yet. Oh, what a great movie. That is, I, well, my wife and I went out. I've seen it twice. It's that good. It's that good. Well, we went out to see King's Speech on Saturday night, and I told her when I looked it up online to see, you know, the theater, and it said, you know, some of them said buy tickets online. This didn't say that, and I thought, hmm, that ain't a good sign. So right. we ended up showing up, and sure enough, it was sold out. And I oh, thought the night before the night before the Oscars, what were That's we thinking? Why. The seven thirty <laughs> showing. 
<laughs> Didn't they know you were John Riggins? Yeah. Do you know who I am? <laughs> I tried that. I tried that. Yo, yo, yo. Then they went. I got that diesel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can we interest so you I, in I, True Grit, sir? Security. <laughs> security. I was thinking about security. True Grit. By the way, uh, speaking of True Grit, Kirk Douglas. Last night to start wow. the thing, start the thing going. Wow. Oh, but see, man. you guys got it all wrong. And uh, did you I like was, it? Well, they Didn't only they missed one part. They missed one part with Kirk. They should have wheeled him out in a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> and he sits up and does his bit. <laughs> it would have worked. It would have worked. <laughs> That's actually kind of a funny. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> Kirk Douglas is going to do his greatest role dinner. ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he can't make up his mind which way he wants to go. He's thinking about going up there. Look, I have respect for my elders, and, you know, he's a legend we in, in Hollywood. But it just seems so, you know, everything about this this year's Oscars was supposed to be about the young kids. You right. know what I mean? It was about Clearly. young Hollywood, young, you know, the host. I thought it was terrible. And then they bring the complete opposite. But that I was mean, gratuitous you to didn't keep know better, that older start, demo yeah, engaged but, that early but in the show. Still, the older people are going to watch it, period, because everybody wants to know who's going to win. But that just, it seemed painful. It was almost embarrassing. It was. And then when he announced the winner, he kind of fumbled. And I know he was trying to play along and be, be funny and kind of like, and the winner, anyways. And, the, you know, that yeah, was kind of funny. But it, it was, was just painful. so drug out. It was so... I don't know. Didn't feel right I, to I, me. You know what? I, I, on a serious note, you have to see to me... You know, he's an old war horse. And, right. you know, a guy that has been, that this was his life. And when you think about old Hollywood, Kirk Douglas was as glamorous a movie star as there was. Yeah. Yes. Him and Burt Lancaster and that whole era. And so, you know, you look at it in different ways. And I looked at a gallant old man, or gallant, however the words, you know, and he went out and he did the best he could under the circumstances. Sure. And he just had a stroke. So, I mean, that was why his and you had to kind of you've got to you've got and... to have a little compassion. And so you can say they missed or didn't miss, and 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 yet he still, and my wife said it best that you know he's still down deep inside has got it. He's right there. He's right. in tune. He knows what he's doing. His mind that, knows what to right. do. But it wasn't coming right. out. I think because of the whole you know the right. speech yeah. and everything. I, I, so I, I don't say understand. It, but people take that one of two ways. Some people can be put off by it and say, you know what, that's almost you know cruel to send somebody out like that. And other people will look at it and say, to see him one last time in the flesh, up I on a stage. I didn't mind being out there. There's something historical about Why that. So I, just, I just thought huh? it was drug out, but yeah. you know, I don't. But I he think couldn't he do it. He couldn't himself. help it. Well, and he kind of kept dragging it out himself, sort of like he was enjoying the moment. Right. right. I mean, right. So I think at they could be. I think <laughs> the, the, the hey, people directing. Hey, I can't knock the guy because I'm telling you what, if I'm 95, we're dragging. I'm do the same we're dragging Riggo off a third of you. They invite me to the hall of Right. It was Leanne will be there getting with a hook. Right. Get that guy exactly. off it. It was all an act because he had yeah. Charlie Sheen's number. He was texting him right after he went off. Chuck, right. where you at? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really. Nobody exactly. knows yet. That Kirk was getting down heavy after the after the, yeah because I think he, oh yeah Kirk didn't he make a pass at what's her name before he got off the stage and Hathaway and yeah. Hathaway cool yeah. 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 see his great he's, granddaughter he still got something going with great that? great his great granddaughter yeah. great great <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the mind uh, just goes and it goes but o overall impressions of the show I didn't like it I I, I didn't either I, I just it I don't know it just well, it seemed sort of awkward at times it seemed like James Franco was sort of either high or yes. didn't care like he wanted to be there and then she was sort of overcompensating right. like kind of like oh, yeah, well, hi, look at me and, and, he's not, and I was and like really? you think that yeah. for the two of them it's almost I think it's they did the best they could it's almost right. bad to put them in that position right. And she, the Oscars, she, those two? Yeah. I mean, not that I think it's great. You came from soap opera and General Hospital, but suddenly you make one kind of indie movie that gets popular, and right. next thing you know, you're what hosting the was Oscars. It? Was that the, the 127 uh, hours? hours. Right. Which was, it was an okay movie. You but, know, I know the story of the, the rock climber that got, had to cut his arm oh, off. Oh, that's... Right. Oh, but, right. I mean, you know, he came from yeah. General Hospital. Next yeah. thing in, like, one year, he's hosting the Oscars with right. Anne Hathaway, who I'm like, she's an okay actress. They I'm didn't not... have any gravitas. Give me an Alec Baldwin, right. a yeah. Steve Baldwin. Martin, a Billy Crystal, right. or whoever. That's because... what I used to remember the right. Oscars were... That was that level. Now right. it kind of seems like they're bringing the Oscars down to sort of this level. I'm like, really? They used to be so prestigious, and yeah. now it's kind of like. And not it so felt much. as such because she was so enamored. Oh, well, I'm so happy! I'm hoping in the Oscars right. about the you're second hour. Cool. Like you're in the moment, girl. Yeah. Let's go. It was. I'm like you're supposed to be there. Yeah. 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 In fact, Leanne 
and I'm saying this, you would have done a better job than Anne Hathaway because this is what you do. Well, thank you're spontaneous you. and you're in the moment. Right. And and there is a definite difference between absolutely. hosting and acting. Yeah. Complete and difference. If, you know, you get your lines and you study your lines and you put, right. you know, you lay down the emotional bed for all that stuff. Because what Todd just said, I thought the the very beginning when they did the bit with Alec Baldwin and uh, Morgan Freeman, mm-hmm. and they would you know they were in the dream and they were kind of playing off of uh, Inception right. and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Now you could tell right away that Alec Baldwin's got it down. He is that guy. Right. He he knows how to ad lib and be funny. Absolutely, he can nail his lines. He'll do the. I mean, that's a guy. And he understands that, the moment. He well, right. you know, he's Timing. just that guy. He Timing. is that persona. And you know, Johnny Carson for years was yes. always had that. Brilliant. And and Bob Bob Hope before him i mean there's certain people that can do that and some people can't and you know they unfortunately these two are actors and they're not personalities right Right. there's a big difference you know what's awkward and and baldwin is actually both no he's great because he is a comedian too and the thing about actors that go up and read don't you always see like any even the grammys when they put two hosts together to introduce something they have them reading their little lines and it's always a joke written into the lines but they read it and they're like Ha ha, John, don't you think yeah. it's funny that Todd is sitting over there with a striped shirt on? <laughs> and be, be, you know, instead of being like, hey, God, isn't it funny? He's over there. But they're reading it. So well, it, sure it, it sounds Liam? very, <laughs> right. they don't know how to sort of give it, you know, <laughs> relaxed. And, and, and that's the difference between actors. They just sort of read and they're reading the joke and it, it's not funny. You know, I agree. and it's kind of an awkward. Well, it, well, it's all in the subtext is what you know where they give it the actual the meaning, and right. if you're just reading it and you don't really get what, right. where it's going, and then it's like ha ha. No, but you give really. them the, you yeah. give them that line though, and let them take it home for a night and come back in the morning. Right. You I will own it. Don't, yeah, right. they will. Don't just even write it in the prompt. Stop just, or just, I'll shoot. It's funny <laughs> and it's funny <laughs> and ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny you start crying. It's so good. Right. Rigo, was Rigo painful. was Rigo was going nuts over the men last night uh, and the sloppiness. It was. Ah, sl- it was I, I was not impressed with a lot of the women's dresses and and. and Who's, what dress did you like the best? Oh my gosh. I, I thought Anne Hathaway's actually her dress to be out on the stage. I thought it was okay. The and white I, one, which one? And Gwen, the white one. The white, yeah, and that Gwyneth was Paltrow, I thought, had a nice dress on last night. James the, Franco the had a nice one. The color one? one? James Franco. Oh, yeah, Marilyn Monroe. What? That might have been the best one. Wow. <laughs> that was another and one. And that of those was sort of an awkward moment. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, why did he come? I mean, I understand yeah. I mean, she was, but it was just sort of like they just stuck it in thinking they it would be it funny. They threw it on there, yeah. And it was it, like, but that was it. Yeah, it was not good. They didn't good. develop it. Awkward. There was no pre, there was no after. I don't know. It was not that was kind of weird. Um, I didn't like her nude dress. The, the, uh, the, the one she was singing. Oh, uh, no, you're talking, no, you're talking about a different one that she had oh, out on the red carpet. carpet? Yes, oh, she changed? Yes. Yeah, she, she changed. Yes. Yeah, she changed when she was singing into a nude dress uh, that I didn't like. a singing like, dress, right you know? now. A nude dress? How's a nude, that work? It was a nude color. So uh, it just kind of blended in. She's already kind of pale and blonde. It just sort of didn't work. Faded away. He wanted to know <laughs> about stuck the nude, on nude. Oh, What is that? Nude, yeah, right. Huh? Isn't that one of them Oxymo runs? Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've never seen a nude. He's like, he's like I'm going to go look if that up on the internet. internet. <laughs> yeah. Artie, yeah. she's going to get a nude dress. <laughs> Leanne Lee. I want to give her a present. That. <laughs> Besides the mug. Right. Besides a little something to remember the John Riggins show by <laughs> your experience here. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure well, your husband. Something. would love something. to see you in that dress. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, there was a cricket. I heard one. No. Cricket, cricket. Well, there you uh, go. But, you know, yeah, you're right. The guys were a little sloppy. Um, Jude Law. I had three of them. I had uh, Downey Jr. Yes. He, his tie was all well, boxed was up. And, and somebody tight. had one of them, like, cockeyed off to the side. Oh. And I can't think if that oh, was Downey was that? Jr. It might have been Downey Jr. because he was with his wife. I he, had the white, he had the white formal tie and it was on. Like, right. you know, you had, didn't even wasn't Marky straighten. Mark a little yeah. bit? Yeah. 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 He had a big And he then Mark Ruffalo, his, his, he looked like a penguin because his suit tight. was so tight. Mm. Yeah, it looked like they poured. I mean, yeah. come on, guys. I'm a stumble bump football player. I don't know what happened, but back in the day when you came to the Oscars, it was so precise. Prestigious. Legal. Everybody was like to the hill. Exactly. It was almost like you were in front of the queen. Everybody was so perfect and prim and proper. Now it just seems like, yeah, I got to put on the tux because it's a tux thing. But it's like we're not going to make sure we cross all right. the T's and dot all the mm-hmm. I's. We're it's just kinda, and uh, you remember when, when you show those? They show those old clips of Bob Hope oh, and Johnny Carson. They yes. had white ties on. They were in tails. With tails. Thank you very much. That's what my husband we got was, married in. It was yes. very regal. I mean, it didn't get any bigger or or It was as formal luxurious. as it was going to get. Yeah, that's right. And then now it's just. But, but like I said, 
just everybody's attitudes, the the hosts, the the way they're kind of doing the show now. Yeah. It's like they're dumbing it down. That's not it's, good. No, that's not good. Because one of the is there any other event that's bigger? No. Then the Super Bowl and the Oscars are it as far as right. TV production and, and what goes right. into that. And maybe the World Series or something, but yeah. Still would pay but, but, to but that. But what about uh, the horse race in Kentucky? Nah, well, Kentucky the Derby. Derby. Well, I'm talking about from a TV perspective and a worldwide audience and what the night means. Right. Viewing audiences and I for see. that. And, and, right. and the, the length stage. and the actual length yeah. of the pro- what you're going right. to see because sure. they both last about well the Super Bowl lasts all day on Sunday basically but the game even it's about itself. three hour performances yeah yeah exactly so I get that well and they we we're going to let you go I know we Aww. didn't even get to Charlie Sheen to. sorry oh, man you will have to come back and see us <laughs> I know right or call in we'll give a live sat- a live satellite hookup from L A right we I, can, I the, can do well, Artie I'm sure we have to fly and get you on the iPhone and beam it back to us here I think Artie would go on that assignment yeah we got the technology we have the technology that's why we love it we put the box in the box you know that's right we thank you so much for joining us thanks for having me enjoy the day tomorrow enjoy your trip back to thank L.A. You. and we'll look for you on NBC's Poker. After Dark. After Dark. But okay. thank you for having me. It's always an honor to be here with you guys. All of you, thank you. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. All right, Todd, we'll be right back. What do we got? We're coming back, Rigo. We are going to get into a little NBA action. Bryce Harper made his uh, Washington Nationals debut. Do you want to hear about this? Coming up next.